keep my hands to myself. Hey, this is Selena Gomez. Cause I just wanna in Smallsy's surgery on Nova. Hello, Selena Gomez. Hello. This is, you, I, I'm so stoked to be sitting face to face with you right now because your record company said this is like the first time you've done like a proper sit down with an Aussie radio guy. I know it's actually a first. It's so weird to have it in person. I'm always used to seeing like hearing it on the phone. Well, I want to say to you first up, let's talk about music. Congratulations on revival. Congratulations on an epic, I would say, 12 months for you. It's been kind of surreal, to be honest. And it's weird because at the same time, it's overwhelming. I don't feel like I've I've, I've made something great, but I'm not sure I've made what it's what, I, what I'm capable of yet. It's cool. When we talk about the success of this record, here in the States and around the world, as a brand, as, as someone, Selena Gomez is a name that has been around for years. Yes. Music-wise, though, this record has completely crossed you over mm -hmm. into a whole new audience. Absolutely. I mean, it, that's the hard part about growing up doing everything that I have done. Mm. I'm very grateful for everything I've done, obviously. But, yeah, there's, there's a certain way you would see me. And a lot of people still maybe see me that way. But it's been great creating this record and really giving my all and putting who I am into it. And yeah. seeing people respond even other artists that I've loved for years kind of giving me the the nod of approval it's cool when you grow up in, in the way that you have in front of everybody watching did you go to high school or did was that no I went to middle school you went and then to TV I was high school yes my high school was called Disney Channel <laughs> yeah okay so do you feel like you missed something there are you grateful for where you obviously you're grateful for where your career has ended but mm. do you ever feel like you missed anything in not being able to go to real high school instead of TV high school? I don't know. There's just, there's a balance to life that I think yeah. is normal. And I think what we do and, and what I love is for me normal, but it isn't actually when no. you look at it. That is not how people kind of should be brought up or raised, especially if you're younger. Mm. So yes, sometimes, but I, I don't know any different. If you could do it over again, is there anything really normal that you'd want to do? Like really super normal, like have a, like a job at like McDonald's or have a job at like and do have some really casual job that like sure I mean it sounds silly it sounds like pour popcorn it's like the over it's the ridiculous things that are, are kind of not really as great as people say they are yeah. I wanted to go to prom and people are always like oh you'd be disappointed and I'm like but I want to <laughs> go to a prom <laughs> but, but I think everyone needs to have that experience yeah, at prom I, where I agree. whoever it is breaks your heart yeah, and then you're, you're left upset, crying you're throwing up whatever but it's a story you have for the rest <laughs> of your it. life right it's I a story that. the new song hands to myself um it's blowing up everywhere. Yeah. The film clip is hot AF. <laughs> AF, I AF. love that. You, Selena Gomez is down with the lingo. Uh, I am, but I say AF. Hot oh, AF. Hot AF. Right? That's okay, hot maybe AF. that's a translation thing. And in Australia, we've been saying it wrong. Oh, but see, maybe now I'm going to bring that here and be like, that's hot AF. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you, when it comes to like, like the video clips and the looks and the feels, yeah. is that you? Do you sit down with like a team in a room and go, I want it to look, I've got like, I'm super fit at the moment and I just want to like show it off yeah like, yes and no but that I, I love trying to express what the song was mm -hmm. in, in a cinematic way because it was super obsessive and the song was intoxicating the song happened in 12 hours we went into a studio and created this fun little environment and one of the writers Julia kind of started hitting a cup and then we created the song from then. Wow. So it's fun. And that's the idea is when you're in that obsessive, contagious place of falling in love with that person that you want to be with. I love that. So we made it We made it a little weird, my but favorite. it was sexy. No, I love I, my favorite line in the song is I could keep my hands to myself, but why would I want uh, yeah, to? Yeah, exactly. Why would you want exactly. to? Exactly. Unless they say no, <laughs> then, then you can't. Then you can't, right? Yes, that's <laughs> a warning. Warning. <laughs> the tour, you've announced dates for parts of the world. World. Yes. Uh, what about Australia? It's happening. It I is. know. It was crazy because it's something I've always wanted to do, and that was the intention and kind of getting everything reorganized in my life. So it's so fun to kind of know that that's going to be a place I get to be and enjoy and it's yeah. new because you've you've been to australia once or twice personal time yes never work related yes uh are you keen really keen as to get your yeah. hands into it and just yeah to have be a lot me of, there do it's lots of promo cool. and yeah. say hello to your fans <laughs> no it's weird to, to say but it's new it's not yeah. new it's new but it is yeah it's cool to go and kind of touch new territory um is there a, can you give me a time frame 
can I dig a little bit deeper? No, I'm not sure. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Where they're doing the dates, I promise. Okay, that's all right. All I that's all say. I'll ask. That's all I'll ask. Now, talk to me. When you're Selena Gomez, what goes into the pr- the pre Grammys day? A lot. Do you get of the girls music. over? Do you turn up? A lot of good music. I got to okay. start with the vibe. So the okay, vibe right. is you got to just chill with good music, get ready, maybe have some tea. Because okay. it kind of starts early now. Everything starts earlier. I was going to say because because here in America and what people in Australia probably don't get used to is that because of New York and the East Coast is such a ma- so many people there. If something's happening here in LA, yep. it's got to happen in the time zone for over that side of the yeah. country. Our clubs close at two a.m. and in New York they close at six a.m. Right. <laughs> And so the Grammys literally start at five o'clock in the afternoon yeah, here. So, so you're like you're like rolling out of bed, probably gonna have to roll out of bed and then straight into Grammys p- mode. Prep. Yeah, yeah, basically. It'll be good though. It's fun. I, I have a lot of friends that are going. It's gonna be fun. And you just kinda have I have to enjoy it. If I'm not there with yeah. like Taylor or something, it's hard for me to Do not. you have the outfit picked? Or do you just like... I'm in the fitting process. Okay. It's very dramatic. How does that work? Because I've always wanted to know like how the fitting process works. Does someone come to you with like three options and then you go, I like this one more? More like three racks of options. Okay. It's, All it's, right. It's intense. That's a good, it's an easy decision then. No, it's I'm It's like not, a menu. It's like I'm, a restaurant menu. And, but it, oh, it's so overwhelming and I'm very impatient. Like I, mm. I like getting my nails done, but I hate sitting down doing okay. it. So I'm more of the person that sees something and I'm, I just go with it. It's yep. very weird. In the moment. And <laughs> yeah. then and then straight into hair, straight yes. into makeup, yes. do your thing, and then you're on the red cup. Do the nights go by quickly or do some of some award shows drag? It depends. If okay. you're having a great time, it happens in five seconds. But if it's been crazy and unorganized, sometimes you're running around or you don't know what's happening. That's me most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? Where are we going? But it's fun. Uh, all of it at the end of the day is just a bunch of people there to celebrate what, whatever they're celebrating. Um, well, I wanted to say thank you so much for sitting down. Of course. Thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what today is for you. It looks like you're in the middle of a whole bunch of... Fun radio stuff, stuff. you yep. know? Nice. In a gorgeous... Grandma did, style fun I, hotel. That is, I, yes, I was going to say. Do you live? You live in LA, right? I do, but okay. I, I this hotel has kind of been one of my favorites, and I've stayed here many times. Nice. So. I was going to say because the last thing Celine's going to do is say, "Hey, Uncle Smallsy, come on up to my uh, place, and you can do an interview this, in my pool room." You're welcome. <laughs> anytime. Um, I saw them getting some like dresses out of some car downstairs, and I was like, yes. "I wonder if that's for you or in some, some someone other else." Person it could, could be like actually be else. here. Oh, have you ever done any celeb spotting in the corridors? I do people watching in general. Oh, you are, I, I, you are like my, like I my do that all the sister. time. It's just like open the window and spot Let's people. See who like. he's working at. Well, look, I hope you get to Australia very soon. I absolutely um, will. You know there's a whole bunch of people in who are just dying for you to play some shows. I would love that. Um, enjoy the Grammys. Thank um, you. Just have fun. And I hope you end up having the night of your life and, and wherever. And congratulations on all the success Revival's had. Thank and you. hands to myself as well. Thank you very much.